minute season high offensive rebound. What, what's the explanation for how it turned out? Well, we we uh, I mean, obviously you saw a lot of those rebounds were off our own, you know, misses. And I would say um, the first half it hurt us a lot more than the second half because I thought we had some really good chances down there that we didn't finish, and those led out to some transition threes, right? The second half the misses uh, there still were relevant. I think we finished a few more, but we'll, but at least it wasn't like compounded. In, in that, but I think that's what it comes down to. We just had a lot of chances at the rim that we didn't capitalize on. In your half court defense, when it, it, it kind of got beat up by the bigs a little bit there by Kessler and Mark, and that's there's two seven footers who are pretty good players. Well, in the in the guts of the game there, when we did, you know, I thought we were we were making a miss quite often. I think we had a stretch of seven consecutive stops, and then the the two or three would have been stops as well if we'd have limited them to one shot. You're right. It was just it was just keeping them off the glass there for just a little stretch. But um, again, for the most part, it wasn't it wasn't bad uh, initially defensively. The uh, mentioned shots at the rim. I mean, especially in that first half, Kessler seemed to be a real factor. Uh, as we talked about before the game. Yep. What do you do when you got that well? I, I think he was a factor, Michael, for sure. But I also think there was a lot of other opportunities that we needed. He wasn't involved in or or whatever. And then maybe you, if you remember one time Scotty got it and just kind of hit him in the chest first and then laid it in, right? Like that's kind of what you got to do to those guys. If you let them just be free and 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 jump and use their size, then, then they're going to do that. Um, and, okay, so he blocked six, but we still had another – Geez, I don't know, 15 that he wasn't involved in that we probably could have, you know, done something with, right? There were a lot of sequences while he was out there where it was like three, four, five opportunities under the rim. Would you like to see, I mean, it's hard in the bone, would you like to see guys maybe kick it out instead of forcing another look out? Or, or like, what does it feel like in the moment, I guess? Does it feel like too many? I mean, I, th I think there's obviously opportunities for kickouts sometimes. Eric, but I think as well that, you know, um, I'm going to have to look at the tape a little bit and see if I would have changed my mind. I, I might have a couple times when you when you turn and you see him there, right? I might I might do something else. I thought we we had a couple other, like we drew him and we, we dumped a couple and again didn't make clean catches that, that we could have probably gone up and dunked behind him. We did get a couple of those, right? But but we needed to complete a couple more of those, probably. Fred had a triple double against the Jazz last season. Tonight he had another triple double against the Jazz. What what can you say just about his performance and his shot making abilities, especially down the stretch when you guys were playing rally? Yeah, I mean he he certainly rallied us when we were down with some of those off the screen threes. Um, again, I thought he got inside a lot. Um, I mean, he took it to the rim a lot, and, and you know, I think I think he probably um, made good reads. Right when he when they pressed up, he got by them. Um, when they sat back, he pulled it on them. Um, but those definitely were big shots because we were we were needing, you know, some some three point to try to match some of theirs. I mean, they they made a bunch of them, so we had to try to catch up in that category for sure. And and uh, he made he made them all in the fourth quarter. It don't matter if you, how many shots you give, they don't go in. Um, I, you know, we fought hard. Uh, it was a tough night at the rim. Um, they certainly have some size down there and some good uh, shot blockers. Um, I think they ended up with 11 block shots. Uh, countless others just, you know, making us miss, and uh, we were able to get off offensive rebounds. But yeah, I mean, it's a three-point game. We had. 25 <laughs> offensive rebounds, uh, you know, um, forced turnovers, uh, won the points in the paint, um, won the second chance, won the fast break, lost a three-point battle. Um, so, yeah, it was it was tough, man, but um, good in some areas. Just, you know, you got to find ways to translate them to wins. And, um, again, we won, and we won three of the quarters, three of the four quarters. So, 
uh, yeah, that's, it's hard to wrap your mind around for sure. But, you know, learn from it and move on. Uh, I think we got to find a better way to just make it happen. You know, there's there's magic in just winning games and finding ways to win. And um, that's something that you got to learn and, and grow with as a team and um, just understand that, you know, yes, every possession is heavy and there's frustration, and you know, for good reason and mistakes that we're making. But just got to keep making plays and, and find a way to, to translate that to a win somehow, some way it doesn't matter. Um, because if, you know, we win this game, if we're, we're up three at the end of the, the night, then a lot of these stats look a lot better. You know what I mean? We'd be celebrating getting 27 more shots or whatever it was. So, uh, you know, just got to find ways to win, and um, that's really all that matters. Is the frustration level growing every day among, among the group? No. 